Hello, my name is Pete Gerlach. I've been a professional family systems therapist for 31 years and during that time I discovered that I was the son of two alcoholics. Uh, that led me to become extremely interested in addiction and addicted families and that has led me to try and understand and help people who survived early childhood trauma. I've been doing that for 19 years. As part of that work, what I have come to believe is that many such trauma survivors uh, become addicted. And what I have also come to believe is that an extremely powerful tool, perhaps one of the best around, in order to combat and control, as opposed to cure, addictions, is the traditional 12 steps originally connected to Alcoholics Anonymous. That was founded in 1935. The 12 steps have helped millions of people all over the world stabilize addictions and achieve uh, permanent sobriety. My work indicates that those of us who are not addicts but do have common characteristics from early childhood trauma, we, to recover from psychological wounds that we recovered, that we received as young children, we also can profit from the 12 steps as a life philosophy and a guide to our recovery. The problem is that the existing 12-step philosophy does not yet acknowledge the existence of the psychological wounds that powers all addictions, in my biased opinion. And therefore, the language of the 12 steps stops short of guiding people in recovering from the psychological wounds that they probably have. Um, when I say childhood trauma, what I'm referring to is parental abuse, abandonment, and neglect. When very young children experience those too often or too intensely, they develop up to six psychological conditions, injuries, or wounds. Briefly, they are these. The first and keystone wound is a fragmented personality which leads to the formation of something that can be called a false self. That promotes up to five additional injuries or wounds which are excessive shame and excessive guilt. I lump those together though they're separate. Excessive fears excessive reality distortions, like denial, excessive problems with trust, trusting too easily or trusting not at all. And if someone has all five of these wounds, they can have a sixth one, which is an inability to feel their feelings, to give or receive love, and to form normal, healthy bonds. Those are six wounds that we quote, grown, deprived, or wounded children, unquote, sustain and need to recover from. Many of us try to combat these, the pain from these wounds through addictions. In order to understand the proposed update to the 12 steps, which is the purpose of this video, I request that you first do some homework. If you haven't already, I invite you patiently study three sets of Lesson 1 videos in my YouTube channel. It will take you several hours, but the payoff for doing that is it will allow you to fully appreciate why I propose this update to the 12 steps. So, I invite you now, pause this video. Here's a link to my channel, look at lesson one videos. There are three sets of videos. Patiently go through each of the three sets. 
if you are not addicted or you're not supporting an addict or you're not interested in addiction, you can skip the third playlist, but do view the videos in playlists one and two. Uh, they'll open in separate windows. When you've done so, come back here or restart this video and then resume. What I'm about to do is read from a web article in my nonprofit educational website that compares side by side the traditional 12 steps with my proposed update to reflect uh, grown wounded children's psychological wound recovery. This is a lot, isn't it? So, please pause this video, do your homework, and come back. Um, see you soon. Okay, <clears throat> here are the proposed revisions to the ACOA version of the traditional 12 recovery steps. Step 1. I accept that I have been powerless over the effects of my inherited psychological wounds and that my life has become unmanageable. 2. I've come to believe that a power greater than me can help me free my true self to guide my personality and reduce my wounds. 3. I have decided to turn my will and my life over to the care of God as I perceive God. 4. I have assessed myself honestly for significant psychological wounds, including false self dominance. 5. I admitted to God, myself, and at least one other person the exact nature of my false self's harmful behavior. 6. I was entirely ready to have God help me permanently reduce my psychological wounds and free my true self. 7. I humbly ask God to empower me to shift my personality leadership to God and my true self. 8. I, d I identified all the persons that my false self has significantly harmed and I became willing to make amends to them all. 9. I had, uh, made direct amends to such people wherever possible except when doing so would injure them or other people. 10. I continued to take personal inventory and when I was wrong I promptly admitted it without undue guilt, shame, or anxiety. 11. I sought through prayer and meditation to improve my relationship with my higher power, seeking to improve my awareness of God's will for me and the courage to help carry it out. 12. Having had a spiritual awakening from these steps, I try to practice them in my daily life and to model and respectfully offer these principles to other people who inherited psychological wounds and unawareness. Those are my proposed updates for us grown wounded children who have hit bottom and are motivated now to reduce our psychological wounds. This takes a lot of thought, a lot of meditation. If you disagree with the wording of this update, I encourage you make your own 12 steps. Okay?
Your true self knows how to do that. The second half of grown wound and child recovery, of reducing wounds, is to change unawareness and ignorance into knowledge. Those of us traumatized as young children often did not learn from our ancestors and or our teachers important information on up to six specific topics. So true full recovery uh, includes learning these six topics. Uh, in order to see what the topics are and to review some things that you probably were never taught but need to know, I invite you to see my nonprofit ad-free educational website at sfhelp, H-E-L-P, dot org. There are seven uh, online self-study lessons there that will teach you, in my opinion, what your parents never taught you. <coughs> Uh, you can uh, view those web pages, quite a few, and or for a shorter version, you can see the related seven sets of videos. Here's the link once again to all the videos that are organized by lesson in my YouTube channel. I wish you well on your recovery. There are millions of people who want to do the same. You have a lot of company. Best of luck to you.